This quiet spot in Point Blanche is one of the only places I know of where the soapberry vine and the soapberry bug of St. Martin can be found. This is a soapberry vine. It's flowering right now. You're starting to see beneath the flowers some of the fruit. Here you can see some of the fruit of the soapberry. And if you look closely at them, they're all kind of shriveled up because they've actually already been sucked dry by the soapberry bugs. This soapberry bug is gonna come with us to the museum. We have just a handful of soapberry bugs, but it's probably enough to start a stable population because they breed really quickly. I've taken some pieces of soapberry vine so we can try to grow it back in the museum. I'll also get some soil that may have some additional seeds we tend to see a lot of these bugs on the ground. All right guys, we're back at the museum and I had this idea that we could do a display about a kind of insect called a soapberry bug. And we got some in here, maybe you can see them. They're little orange bugs. Um, they only eat the soapberry fruit that grows on the soapberry vine. So we're kind of a special kind of bugs. We have some bugs, we have some vines, we have some dirt, and I got the dirt by where the vines were growing. And so we have two things we want to do. We want to make a little temporary space for our bugs, but we also want to try to figure out how to grow these vines so that our bugs will have something to eat. How do we grow these vines? I don't know. I'm not a botanist. One thing that I would like to try with some of these vines is to put clipping of the vines into water and see if it starts to grow roots. So we have the vine in the water and I'll do this a couple times. So we have a couple pieces of vine that are in some water. And that might be one technique, who knows. It's so crazy, it just might work. Another thing I figured we could try to do is to maybe plant some of the vine into some soil. All right, so I have some regular potting soil. I'm just gonna use a dowel to make a little hole that I can stick my vine into. And I'm gonna stick my vine into that potting soil. And then we'll add some water so that you can see if that'll grow. Another thing we have is some dirt. And I got this dirt where the vines were growing. And inside the dirt, I'm sure we have at least a few seeds of the soapberry plant. Probably a few seeds of some other stuff too. My main plan was just to put this dirt into some pots, water them, and see what grows. If we're lucky, maybe a couple seeds of the soapberry plant will grow from this dirt. About four cups of dirt. So that's a good amount of dirt. So in here, I have my actual soapberry bugs. So I want to just transfer them into another temporary container that's a little more spacious. Um, so I have this piece of plant, and I'm going to bring that in with them. I think that they would enjoy that. But I'm going to put it into some water so that hopefully this piece of plant lives a little longer than it would otherwise and that could be part of their habitat for now. Um, then I'm just gonna dump some bugs in, and there we go, I think all of them went in there. Okay, let's take a look at where we're at right now. We have some soapberry vines in water and some in dirt that we're hoping will sprout. We have the dirt that we collected by the soapberry plants. It's probably got some seeds, so hopefully something will sprout out of there. And we've got our soapberry bugs over here pretty happy right now, they've got some food, and let's see if we can grow some of these vines. You've probably already heard that bugs are a man's best friend. That's probably true, but they can also be a cool exhibit for a museum. You could be a museum's best friend by becoming a friend of the museum, by making a donation to help us put together all the cool exhibits we're planning for this season. 
Thanks a lot and see you next time.